So, are you going to tell us what this meeting is for, or just use your eyes to make one of us dead? <laughs> She can't actually do that, right? Why are our numbers down? Seasonality is a, a, a big part of we the- We are a dating website. We take one lonely person and we stick them with another lonely person and there are 300,000 lonely people that become sexually active every six minutes. So tell me, you mustard slurping noise machines. Why is our dating website crumbling? Well, maybe we've done our jobs too well. You know, already made every possible connection. Or, or maybe it's one of love's typical off seasons. That's something I've heard of. No, I've got it. Something Blake did. Thank you for calling findlove.net. This is Blake. How <laughs> oh! It's Kindlin. What's Kindlin? It's an app that takes away all the research, personality, and art, and matches people purely based on attraction. It's like, look, here's a picture of a face. Do you want to have sex at that face? Yes or no? And if the face also wants to have sex at your face, it's a... <laughs> It's a sex face. Kindling and apps like it take away all the sophistication, all the skill, anything real, and replaces it with superficial, carnal... Perfection. I was going to say a different... Like, set up a meeting with this Mr. Kindling fellow. Kindling's not a person. We don't have an intercom in here. Okay. Late. That'd be a power move? Should we be even later to counter? Ooh, he's good, this guy, Russ. Actually, I think his name is Rush. Like what frats do? Oh, he sucks, this guy, Rush. He's still beating you two at your jobs. And you, right? I choose not to see it that way. I have a mis- Yeah, someone order a package, Rush delivery? <laughs> what up? I'm from Kenlin. Name is Rush. I'm Elise Gomez Blackula, founder and president of FindLove.net. I assume you are Kindlin's CEO, well, yes? Well, chill, Lex, just chill. We don't actually do labels over at Kindlin, but legit, if we split in pubic hairs, I would be a big CEO. <laughs> That's my fish title. I had it made special. I added the big. Anyway, I love what you've done with the place right here. Yeah, yeah, no, it's kind of real bring your mom here kind of vibes. It's not my thing. Kind of gross. Kind of like that front desk guy. No offense, Chief. Fuck the Chiefs, go Raiders. Anyway, what are we talking about today? Rush, we're thrilled to finally have you to our offices for a meeting. Chill, legs. Can I stop you? No one has ever tried. Because I'm legit only here as a courtesy and, oh, ooh, real quick, what's up, Red? I hate you. Oh, wow, mm. that just came out. <laughs> anyway, y'all website is a little piece of mom and pop bullshit that wastes time on lengthy profiles because y'all think that fucking is something more than it is. But newsflash, dummies, it ain't. And that is why Ken Lin is going to make orphans out of all of you. What? The service you provide is something people want right now, sure, but your app hasn't been around long enough for anyone to gather any hard science on exactly how successful you are at establishing real connections. So people will play and explore and run around on Kindling, but when they're ready to slap on some big girl pants and try something real, fine love will be there. Well, that is a very interesting, albeit personal and otherwise baseless theory. But according to literally every study of behavioral economics on the adaptive unconscious, the average person can more accurately and authentically detect genuine affection and attraction within the first 15 seconds of seeing a potential partner. You take that science out of your tiny shit mouth right now. Indeed, the more time you're given, the more likely it is that your initial accurate assessment of a person or situation will become corrupted by your likes, dislikes, or unconscious prejudices. It's a phenomenon dubbed analysis paralysis by Malcolm Gladwell. He's a close personal friend. We go to the park, get blasted, yell at swans, whatevs. So, to my point, your basic ass sight ain't shit. We are the future. Ooh, I gotta go. Got a rollerblading meeting with Ashton Kutcher, Elizabeth Warren, and one of those dudes that drives the bang bus. Later! Was he wearing rollerblades when he came in? That was a pop scientist. <gasps> Oh, well, I blacked out after he silenced me. Did I strangle him? Unfortunately not. Then here's what's going to happen. One of you mouth-breathing toilet seats is going to come up with a strategy to put fine love back on top of Kindling. Why only one of us? If we work together... Whoever can... comes up with the winning strategy gets a raise. $6,000. No, $45. 
What's a lot of money to people like you? Something in between. But why pit us against each other? The loser gets fired. <gasps> That's not... I have no incentive to clean these up. Matumbo! <sighs> Damn it. Thank you for watching rom.com. Make sure you subscribe. And in the comments below, why don't you tell us about your worst online dating experience? Oh. You ever done that? Uh, date? Online date? I've done. <laughs> the, the subject of the show. <laughs> I have actually not oh. dated online. Well. Just been in relationships forever and ever. All right. <laughs>